So this time of the year, in the vineyard, we spend a good deal of time tasting. We're, we're determining, along with running the numbers, the sugars and the acidity, so we're looking at, at what those are, and that, that helps us to determine, but the key factor is the taste. What we really determine the, the harvest on, or the picking call, if you will, is going through and tasting different sections of the vineyard, different, uh, different clones, if you will. This happens to be clone 17, a uh, uh, particular type or clone of, of Chardonnay. This still has pretty firm acidity and you want acidity. It's, it's, the, it's the crispness, the brightness. Without acidity, you just have a mouthful of nothing, just fruit and sweet. You need that acidity, that, that, that firmness to help balance the sweetness. So this is on its way, but it's still, I feel like about a week to 10 days off, roughly, okay? And I'm just basing it on that particular grape and you can't do that, so what we do is we sample on both sides of the vine and inside grapes on the on the inner location on the outside grapes that are actually see see the sun and have a little sunburn those have a very bright ripe flavor but they they have tend to have less acidity than the clusters on the inside okay so i i turn this over and you could see there's no sunburn there Okay, but a combination of both of those is what, what gives you uh, that, that tropical kind of uh, flavor that, that the region is known for. Once we're satisfied that the samples that we're getting are uniform and the flavors are just at the point where we want them, not overripe, but perfectly ripe, if you will, so we get some real nice fruit. We make a, a reservation at the winery. So we, we have the, the, the picking crews come out and we will in the evening and night, in the cool of night, come in and harvest the fruit. So we're, har we're harvesting cold fruit and it's delivered to the winery cool and in, in good shape for, for processing, for, for at that stage, for uh, crushing the stem, where we actually separate separate the stem from the from the from the cluster, and then we begin the winemaking process. <laughs>